All right, so welcome back. This is a cumulative frequency question, which we will solve in this video. Mein solve uh, let's read the question. The masses of 400 goats were measured. The results are shown in the cumulative frequency graph. Use your graph to find the median. A median, as we know, is basically a measure of where half of your data lies. So in this case, if you want to calculate the median, what do we do? We are simply going to calculate 50% of the total frequency. And if, uh, the total frequency, as you can see from the question, is 400. So 50% of 400, what happened? This is 200. Now remember, we have to see that our 50% of data is 50% of the goats, basically, since that's what, uh, that's what we have in this question. उनका जो मास है वो कहां लाए कर रहा है तो 50% ऑफ टोटल फ्रीक्वेंसी हमने निकाला 200 अब हम क्या करेंगे अब हम 200 की कोरिस्पोंडिंग वैल्यू देखेंगे तो जो भी इसकी कोरिस्पोंडिंग वैल्यू होगी वो हमारा मीडियन होगा सो द कोरिस्पोंडिंग वैल्यू ऑफ 200 एज वी कैन सी इज दिस इज 65 एंड ये हो जाएगा हमारा सिंस वी हैव 5 blocks representing five small blocks representing one unit so uh, one divided by five is 0 0.2 so this will become 65.4 kilograms so our median is 65.4 kilograms there you go then we have to find the 30th percentile up 30th percentile is basically trying to find out where 30 percent of the data lies so 30 percent of the total frequency agar hum nikal ne to ya jayega hamare paas uh, sorry not 40 it's 400 so 30% of 400 is 120. Now we have to see that our 120 ki jo frequency hai, cumulative uski corresponding jo value will be our answer. Now since we have 10 small boxes representing 100 units, so what do we do? If we divide 100 by 10, so that means every, every box is responsible for 10 units. So 120 will be 100 se do boxes. Upar hoga. So let's see what the corresponding value of 120 is and that according to our graph is 64. So that means our 30th percentile is 64 kilograms. Alright now part 3. Part 3 is trying to ask us the number of goats whose mass is more than 66 kilograms. Alright now remember whenever the question says more than or it uses the term such as at least so what do we do now? Now we got to read backwards. Backwards in the sense now we will see the x-axis that it is doing 66. Uh, let's change the color for that. Now we are going to see where 66 is and 66 ki jo bhi corresponding value hogi uh, we have 66 ki corresponding value nikalne, then I'll tell you what to do. So here we have the corresponding value of 60 and that is 240. Now remember 66 sorry not 60 I think I said 60. So the corresponding value of 66 is 240. Now what the question is trying to ask us is the number of goats whose mass is more than. Emphasis on the word more. Now, this is 240. This is 240. 240 goats ka jo mass is 66 or 66. Se kam hai. Ab the question is clearly interested in more than. So, what do we do? We total minus 240. So, total as we know is 400. 400 mein se if we subtract 240, what we end up is what we end up with is 160. So the answer for this part is 160. So in short, remember whenever the question says more than or at least a certain value, we look at the corresponding uh, value of that certain value and subtract that from the uh, from the total frequency. So that's how you do it.